Good morning, everyone. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome back. It's another beautiful day, I think. Of chilly. Both. It is chilly. Beautiful blue sky. Yeah. But chilly. Chilly. We were going to sweep that flue um, this morning. Um, we sat out the front in the sun having a coffee. Beautiful it was. Dead still. We've got a yellow yellow warning for today and tomorrow Good for morning. strong winds. Um, so we thought we should get it done now quickly um, before the wind comes. And then, as if by magic, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the wind As soon as, I spoke, as soon as I got up um, to go and get things, um, yeah, the wind came. It's far too windy. I don't know if you can hear it. We're quite sheltered here. It's far too windy to be on the roof, though. Uh, I don't fancy that at all. Um, so we're going to have to put that on hold, hopefully. Tomorrow's supposed to be the same, but hopefully Saturday will be the day to do that. And um, I'm also, I've got a bit of a plan for it as well. Um, so I'm going to alter the flu a bit. I've had loads of hassle with this. Um, so I'll, but I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, also, the wind, when I did this roof on the apartment, um, I never actually I just fixed all the tiles down, but I never actually fixed down the very, very end ones because we thought we'd leave it until we pointed we the, the wall. The wall. Yeah. Uh, well, it's been that windy yesterday, last night. It's actually blown the end tiles off. Um, I mean, the wall's that thick and they're sat on this half of it. It's not really an issue. But um, so I've had to go, I've had to replace a couple. And I put some big stones on. I always wonder why they put big stones on the edges of the yeah, roof. In most Spain. of the old buildings around here, you'll <laughs> see that the old stones stuck on the the very end of the roof. Yeah. Um, well, now we know why. That's so why. <laughs> ours is now the same. <laughs> I'll show you. I'll show you in a minute. Um, and then later on today, we want to go to um, the but big the DIY. So yeah, we've got lots of stuff to, to pick up. Um, that Andy was going to collect when he picked me up from the airport but of course it was a red day so it was closed. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to try that and take that um, solar charge controller back and get my money back on that. Um, anything else we've got to do? We need wood as well, we need to get we some firewood. We need to firewood. get some firewood from somewhere so we have to go off with the trailer I think. Yeah. And, uh, so it's going to be a bit of a bit of a running around day um, but we're nothing too strenuous. I'm feeling a lot better this morning yeah. after not doing too much yesterday. Looks a lot better this morning. Yeah, didn't look a, very good yesterday. I had a good sleep, so I had a shave as well. <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah, let's crack on. I can't show you our roof because it's far too windy, um, but you get the idea. They've just had this roof done um, not that long ago, and you can see they still use the stones on the edge of it. Um, so. When in Rome, as they say. So the saga of the flu. <laughs> we're going to solve this once and for all. What I'm going to do, that one we've got on the outside uh, is a bit of an odd size. Um, it's what I had as the exhaust for the generator when it was in inside the workshop in that little soundproof box. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to change it for this, which is proper um, 120 mil flu pipe. Um, I just need to get a little elbow for the bottom of it and another little piece to extend it to lift it a little bit further above the ridge to give it a bit more draw and then what we're going to do is see if we can sweep it which in theory we should be able to with our new super bendy goes around corners um, chimney sweep brush if we can sweep it in situ then I'm gonna someone suggested in the comments thank you very much I'm going to actually seal all the joints with that sealer stuff that I've got that I've sealed other bits of it with. Um, so that should sort of solve the problems once and for all. Um, obviously we'll, we'll, we'll try and sweep it from in here and then we'll be able to see the brush when it comes up the top outside. Um, so we think that'll work. So we can't do anything today. Like I said, it's too windy and I need to get some more bits. It's absolutely blowing a blooming gale out there. Um, so we we'll think we're going to go um, into town and get our original bit of list to finish off um, or to carry on working on this kitchen up here as well. Um, so yeah, onwards and upwards. And um, we need to go now, I forgot just then, um, because we've got two tonnes of um, firewood coming um, between 4 and 4.30 this afternoon at a local place very very good service fantastic we've tried a few different places and 
you know, we normally contact them by WhatsApp because it's easier than sort of talking. Um, although my Spanish is all right, it's more, it's easy to just send a message. And he's responded immediately. Within five minutes, we've sent them our location. Um, yeah, all the what I want. We're getting a mixture of almonds and fruit. Um, the almonds good, it burns good and hot, and the fruit helps it to burn because there'll probably be bigger pieces as well on our lovely little fire. Um, so that's the result. So we're going to shoot off and get our bits. <laughs> right, um, it's all changed once again. We're now not going um, to town to do the to get the bits for upstairs because um, you remember the charge controller was supposed to be coming tomorrow. I've just had a notification that it's on its way, it's going to be delivered this afternoon. So obviously, as you, those of you have seen in the past, we have enormous difficulty getting packages here. But generally, they ring and um, we can go and meet them in the local village um, where it's easy for them to find the various places. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get these panels wired up, um, ready, so when my charge controller comes, I can stick it on the wall on my board there and at least get an extra 700 watts of input coming in. So let's get on with that. So what I need to do, I've got my junction box box and I've got my junction box that sits inside there to waterproof it. Um, I need to make up two cables um, to go from this to go to my two panels um, which are already got, they're already wired up ready, they just need plugs putting on, waterproof plugs these are as well. Um, so we can, I can just connect them up. Um, so the first thing I need to do is measure and cut a couple of cables and get some connectors on them. Right, okay, got the two positives done. It's going to be so much better this, even extra 700 watts. It's quite cloudy out again now, so they make a huge difference. Um, so there's my positives done. I just need to do my negatives now. Wonderful, there we go. Um, all I need to do now is to bear back these other ends. There's another one somewhere. Um, they'll then go into this junction box here, obviously entering through the big junction box there. So that's the next thing. So what I've done, um, I've made a hole in my junction box. Um, I will seal this up um, with silicon when, it's, when they're all in. Um, I like to keep my wires long um, so you can pull them through. So when I come to put the next cables in, I'll be able to pull these out and then work on it out here rather than struggling to feed them in in the box there. So all I've got to do now is um, get these into here. Um, I've made another hole for my other panels to enter into, I mean for my cables that are under the panels. So I'll get this wired up in here and then we'll take it out there and I'll wire up the, um, the ones out there into the horrible wind. Right, so they're in there like that. All I've got to do now, he says another one of his alls, is feed the other, the two cables, the main cables that run down to here, up through that hole there, and then one in the top, one in the bottom, um, they've got slightly bigger terminals for the main cables. So I'm going to go outside, brave the weather, and do that. So I hope you can hear me all right out here. Um, it's in, connected up at this end. These three here are where the um, other three panels are going to go. And then my wires are there just ready to plug in to my panels. Um, all I've got to do now is put the lid on it and um, seal it up and it'll be good. All I need to do now is mount my switch on the wall and um, I'm going to put it about there. Is that the same height? <laughs> oh, never have enough hands. Cool. So that's now ready to go to my new thing. 
my negative here is ready to go to my new thing. Obviously they need cutting off, but I'm, I'm going to wait until they're here to do that. Uh, and then I'll tidy all these cables up, fasten them all back, make them all neat, and they'll be happy days. So we're just waiting for that, um, our new charge control to come now. Um, keep our fingers crossed that it does come. They said it's coming, we can do no more than wait. got to do now is to bring it down from the top of the land that'll be a mission every day um, but it means that we don't have to chop it up every day now as we have been doing so that's excellent and we'll be nice and toasty tonight certainly a chilly day today and um it's what time is it quarter past five our parcel still not arrived um our charge controller um so We've kind of wasted an afternoon anyway because we could have been and picked up all the other stuff that we needed but because they said it was coming today um, we waited in for it but it hasn't come so we'll have to try again tomorrow I suppose and see what happens there. Um, it's just so frustrating. Okay another day done we're up in the apartment managed to take one jacket off. <laughs> um, uh, they just rang me the delivery company um, the guy ran out of time today, um, he's going to be with us uh, first thing in the morning, morning in the morning, tomorrow in the morning, manana por manana, that's what they say, but it means, well, tomorrow, tomorrow. in the morning, yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's not it's complicated. Um, so that's good news, which means we can still go tomorrow afternoon and pick up the other stuff that we need with, as we've rescheduled. Uh, so happy days on that, the new wood's um, burning away there. I think, yes, it's quite warm. Let's get in there. It's not bad. <laughs> not bad, yeah, it will be alright yeah, a bit. Some of it's quite big, we might have to chop, a bit, chop it down, I think, to. Just to the, thin, the thinner ones are a bit long. Yeah. But um, it's not a bother. Yeah. So, yes, yeah, so we're on a plan. We should have our charge control tomorrow, get the extra panels up and running tomorrow. That would be fantastic, really well. Um, we've sorted out the flu. We think we've got a good plan to sort out the flu, which is fantastic. And what else have we sorted out today? We've got wood, we've got firewood. We've got firewood. Fantastic. Um, I don't know, what have we done today? We've never sat down, oh, we've been busy. Fixed the roof, <laughs> sorted the flue out, got the firewood, yep. wired up the panels ready for the charge controller. Yeah. Yeah, nothing bad, that's it all, have we? So that's us, we're going to have everything's fed, walked, watered, put to bed, it's dark outside. Yeah. And um, we're going to feed ourselves now. We are. So thank you so much for watching, and um, we'll, we'll see, see you, you tomorrow. Probably.